Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay. Today I'm taking a look at Spider Girl. This is some stuff I got from the Widow's Collection, a collector that passed away many years ago, and I bought these comics from his wife. Um, my special guest action figures today are Spider Girl herself, and I cannot remember her real name. I only remember that Glenn Webb used to call her Spider Bitch all the time. So, we have Spider Bitch over there. And um, we're looking at Spider Girl today. This is a comic that I don't have. I, I didn't have much of. This is from Marvel Comics 2, which is the like um, kind of an Elseworlds, as far as I knew when it when it was going on. It was an Elseworlds future that was always a lot more lighthearted than than your typical Marvel universe of the day. A lot jokier and and just just a lot of fun. I thought it was really great. Anyway, I got Spider Girl uh, number 13, 14. Spider Girl number 15. Oh, yes, and it gets stars Speedball. Who doesn't love Speedball? Sounds like drugs, but it's not. It's just a goober. Issue number 12. Spider Girl 17. Spider Girl 27. Oh, 28. I don't have a full run, but I got a pretty good stack of these. I got 38. I'm going to be what? Issue number 24. Issue number 19, that looks like, oh, it's not who I thought it was, it's Courtney Duran, okay. Uh, looks like the new Green Goblin. See, all of these characters are, are like future versions of older characters, because this is a future, um, the daughter of the true Spider-Man is Spider-Girl in this alternate reality, so very good stuff. This was, to me, this was right after they did so many, like, dark future type stories were going on and dark alternate realities um and to them for them to just make a bright comical fun uh future i thought was really nice of them and i thought what a great idea there's issue 30 and 31 um 32 issue 33 35, 39, and looks like number 18. Now these are the same like M2 line as like a J2 was, the son of the original Juggernaut. There was A Next, which was the next Avengers. And there was a couple others, but this one, I th I'm pretty sure this one ran longer than all of them. And because she's a spider character, I'm sure she's now been inducted into the Spider-Verse somewhere and continues to live on. Um, but I know she was like the one who outlasted everybody else in the M2 line because as far as I know, most of those books stopped at around issues 12, like in the first year. Um, but kind of like in the Marvel's 2099 series, uh, Spider-Man 2099 has outlasted everybody else. He's still going, apparently. Um, I think Spider-Girl did the same thing for the M2 line. And that's pretty cool. That shows you the, the power of Spider-Man. Anyway, that's my story, and I'll catch you guys later.